Barry Shane here from Truth Malters. Uh, as I said, it's my morning in Taiwan, 9 o'clock a.m. And today, we have a very special thing that we're doing with you. As we talked about, we're going to be talking about the Catalan Artist Series. Now, the Catalan Artist Series is Paul Chang is the artist who put this all together. And today with us doing this, we have an amazing person. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to wait for her to jump on here. And once she's on, we'll be able to talk you guys through these things you see right behind me here. So there's going to be four bottles that we're going to be going through. Okay. And uh, hey, see some people here joining in already. So uh, I'm just waking up, getting my day going, but I'm super excited for this. And actually, it's always good to start on a clean palate in the morning if you're going to be doing a tasting. So this will be a great one for me and for people who can join along. But the reason we're doing this, we've had a lot of people ask us about this series. They've asked us about information and they want to know more about um, these, how, these expressions and how they came up with choosing these ones and everything. So it's not only about the tasting today. It's actually about the story behind the artist series, the Catalan, the Paul Chang Catalan Artist Series 2020. And the story behind this is... It's quite deep. It's uh, it's very incre it's an incredible story. And if you were there, if you happen to be some of the lucky people who were at there at the launch, I mean, it was it was a journey. And this is why I mentioned this before. This was a journey that we were involved in. Um, everyone was drawn in as far as with the poetry, with the art, and then of course the whiskey. And the person that we have that's going to be going along with us today was actually the host who presented this at the launch here in Taiwan. Uh, when this came out late last year in November. And she, the way that she describes it and the way that they really gave the history on everything behind choosing these casts, about these casts themselves and the whole art and how whiskey and art met is just, it's mind blowing. And it came together, it's something that came together fantastic with the taste. This is not my first time trying it, uh, but I'm not gonna be opening these bottles. I do have my sample ones here that I'll be going on. And we're just going to wait for her to join us here. So once she is here, we'll get going and starting. Now, if there are people who have these already with them, uh, please feel free to, you know, make your comments, ask your questions and different things. Jump in, get involved with us, and we will talk about the tasting notes. But as I said, more importantly, we're going to be going in detail and in depth about uh, the actual reason these casts were chosen and about these casts. And more importantly, the whole whiskey and the whole, the whole, it's just, it's just an experience is what I'm going to say. It's an experience. And while we're waiting for uh, her to join on here too, I'm going to let you guys know that we're going to be talking about and pulling up each of the art series, the paintings, and giving a little background about why these ones were chosen also. So you guys can take a look here. And we got these going. So we'll be going through everything with you. And hopefully we're able to answer all your questions. So, without further ado, I'm going to request to go live our fantastic host, co-host of the night here. Let me just move my camera here so you guys can see all these a little better. There she is. Hello, Caitlin. Hey. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm just waking up, which I guess is probably about the same for you, but doing fantastic and looking forward to this today as long, along with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, me too. It will be a beautiful Saturday and a beautiful weekend for everyone. Yeah, it should be a good time. Now, for those of you who don't know, Caitlin is the Cavalan Global Brand Ambassador. And Caitlin, uh, first, before we even get started, I want to say congratulations on your massive award. Wow. Caitlin won the Icons uh, World of Whiskey, World Whiskey Brand Ambassador for this year and, or for last year, I guess, would be this year going on. And this is a prestigious award. So really, I want to say congratulations to you. And how, what, were your, what was your feeling? What were your thoughts on when you found that out? Uh, actually, I felt deeply honored and uh, very humble to receive this award. Uh, but mm -hmm. it's a individual performance. I think this honor go to uh, entire Kabbalah team behind the first Taiwanese whiskey distillery for establishing and sustaining its quality all the time. And I, yeah, I think they, they have done great a, job, a great job there for sure, but also you have to accept this on, on yourself as well, on behalf of yourself, because you've done an amazing job too. And not only did you guys get that award, you also had the Visitor Attraction Award again, correct? 
Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, the Spirit Castle of Kavalan, they change a lot. You have been, you have spent a lot of time there, right? Um, uh, I do go there quite often, yeah. <laughs> Now we have a Castron uh, whiskey tasting room and also a DIY uh, whiskey lab. You can create your own unique couple of whiskey there and also a beautiful garden bar on the second floor. So I would really welcome uh, anyone to Kabbalah like when the lockdown ends. Yeah, as you said, I have spent a lot of time there. And even before going up on the second floor at Spirit Castle there, I was blown away by it. It was just incredible. But since you guys have not really done renovations, but since you've stepped it up a notch, I mean, it is gorgeous. And it's very family oriented part of it too. So people going with children, they have their area, but you know, the adults can go and enjoy their drinks and stuff as well. The bar, the DIY, everything is just fantastic. So again, hats off to you guys for making the distillery even better and continuing to it. This is your third time, I believe, wasn't that? Second or third time for the visitor yeah. attraction. Third time, I believe 2011 we was already the first time. So that is long time ago. And now after we revamped the garden hall, right now uh, it, it gets more attention from the uh, industry. Well, and it should. And I mean, there's, especially right now with the pandemic going on, people can't travel. There's a lot of distilleries that really aren't doing too much. And Cavalan just kept on adding on. And I mean, your visitors, even when I was there last week, on a weekday, middle yeah. of the day on a Tuesday afternoon, I mean, it was still busy there. So you're getting over a million plus a year, I believe it is. Is that correct? Yeah, before the pandemic, there are a lot of, uh, sometimes in, in holidays, uh, over uh, 10,000 uh, people getting to Kavalan this year for just one day. Like, wow, wow, lots of drinking and lots of good times. But okay, Caitlin, so today I don't want to use too much of your time on a Saturday morning for us here and people in Canada and America, they're Friday night. But before we get started, I see some comments here, people saying beautiful bottles. And I mean, it is for sure. And there's a reason behind that. But could you tell us a little bit about this Cavalan, the Paul Chang artist series before we even start the tasting, please? Um, uh, so the prototype of the Cavalan artist series was actually the elements campaign. We, we saw there is a strong link between the four natural elements, water, air, fire, and earth and Kavalan whiskey. So we had a lot of fun developing this elements campaign into a new range of expressions, ocean, air, sunlight, and mother earth to highlight the uh, fine whiskey uh, Kavalan artist series. Uh, but going back a bit, uh, when we were starting uh, this project, we brainstormed the definition of art and, and master. We saw mm -hmm. uh, art can it defined as creating the ultimate expression of beauty. And a master means a person who uh, focuses on his goals in mind and pursues uh, the creation of the ultimate during his time. So the Kabbalah artist series is to showcase the Kabbalah spirits, uh, which are the result of our uh, insistence on pursuing the ultimate in whiskey making. And what you guys chose here was completely different cast types too, which I think is great. And um, I was lucky enough, I mentioned before you got on, to be at the launch uh, last, late last year, last November, I believe it was. And that was, and I keep using the word magical evening. It was just incredible. As soon as you walked in there, you were sucked into the whole art atmosphere. Uh, you felt it. It wasn't just like going to a whiskey launch. It was, it was an experience. And the way you guys sat down and we had, you did the poetry and you let everyone know about the whole background, mm -hmm. I, it really brought out not only the taste of the whiskey, but the reason behind the art meets whiskey, which is exactly what you guys did. So congratulations on an amazing launch and amazing whiskeys. So out of these four, you said they have the four elements. So just so I can make sure everyone sees it. So the element of the first one, the punch in here is? Uh, punch in? Uh, sorry, can you say that again? You're saying the four elements. So each bottle represents an element. So which element would punchin be for the people who don't know? Yeah, so punchin is the ocean, and uh, version oak is the air, and, and the sunlight is the sunlight, the wine cask, French wine cask. And this one is the pitting mode for Mother Earth. Okay, and before we get to that one, uh, which is a special one as well, and I know you guys have done some different things, which you'll tell us about that. For that beautiful, but 
I'm going to ask this before we start the tasting. Usually people ask it after, but do you have a favorite out of these four? Now, I know usually it's different time of the day or different mood or something, but is there one of them that jumped out to you more than the others or all equally? Or what, what are your thoughts on it? Um, sorry. Like, sorry. Is, there one, is there one that you believe is a favorite for you, for Caitlin's side? Is there one that you felt was very good the, or better uh, than the others? Uh, from this work? I, I really yes. love uh, virgin oak. Um, I I I feel uh, the the melon like fruitiness and also it's something like the oakiness. Uh, it's very fresh for me. Uh, I really like the taste of this whiskey. And also, if you mm -hmm. look at it, um, it's very dark in the color. I really like the very uh, deep and very round and all it's. It's like very full-bodied whiskey. You can taste from the new oak. Um, if uh, can you check the the the, num the cast number and also the bottling number? I think this is um, mature. This one is O nine eleven O three. Uh, cast number zero one zero A. Oh yeah, that that is a really great one. Zero nine. That's, yeah, one of the first ones I believe when you guys did the launch. We tried. Trying to have the same ones that you're having there, hopefully. So, uh, but when I when I tried these at that night, I mean, each one was completely different in their own way, very special, and it was hard to choose a favorite. When you ask that question, it's actually very difficult sometimes because they're all fantastic, different ways. But let's get going on this, and let's let you um, guide us through this and tell us a little bit about it. I'm going to let you lead everything here, please. I mean, you're the whiskey brand ambassador, global brand ambassador of the year. You know this product better than anybody. You were there since the beginning, behind the scenes and at the launch. So we would love to hear what you have to say about this. So would you like to start this way and go across with a punching or? Before we uh, get into the tasting, I would like to uh, share more about Potion. Uh, actually, oh, there, you. Yeah, there are similarities between Paul John and Kaplan. Uh, Paul John and Kaplan are Taiwan board, uh, both advertising Western things and both pursue uh, this creation of the ultimate in our craft. We share a very simple belief, realizing a dream is possible with uh, an, only enough persistence and determination. Um, uh, I really want to show you a brochure uh, I, I got when when I went to Paul John's uh, retrospective exhibition. Actually, uh, uh, he is our master, the master artist in Taiwan. He was born in 1942. He is now 80 years old. So he is so He's also very well known in other countries also, not only yeah. in Taiwan, correct? Yes. That is true. Um, so uh, if you look at his artwork, you will find uh, uh, when before he moved to Taiwan, actually his uh, his paintings is with darker and heavier colors, uh, which is more um, heavy, this kind of color. And and then after he moved to Taidong, uh, his uh, the thing, the brushwork, also the color because uh, vivid and lively, uh, very colorful uh, after he moved back to Taidong in, in, in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Um, therefore, uh, the first edition of this uh, Kaolan whiskey, actually we choose uh, uh, the paintings uh, after Zhang, he, he's back in Taiwan. He draws uh, create energy from his homeland and his work was uh, selective for interpreting the natural beauty of Taiwan. So which... His surrounding, his surrounding really influences his paintings, his artwork then, which is how you came up with these ones. So did you guys, you must have went through many paintings to choose the one that went perfectly with the whiskey, I, I'm assuming. Yeah, that yeah. that's correct. Uh, so uh, uh, for paintings, um, the main characteristics of our whiskey, uh, the color, texture, aroma, or taste, uh, mouthfeel uh, of the four expressions somehow relates to the hidden meanings of the four elements and the four pieces. Are you and, going to share those hidden meanings later with everyone? Yeah, <laughs> I know. And, and um, just to let everyone know, he was also at the launch, of course, because he is a major part of this. It is a Paul Chang Cabot Artist Series. 
and just seemed like a fantastic person. He was very outgoing and, you know, very open and ready to discuss his art with everybody attending. And that's another thing that added to such a magical evening. It was, again, it wasn't just the whiskey. The artist was there interacting with everyone. And he really explained the reasoning for these colors and how everything goes along with the taste and the mouthfeel of the whiskeys too. So all around, I don't think he could have chosen better artwork to go with the taste that's inside these bottles too. It's just great, very good. And I do have, um, I can show this as we go along. I do have some of the paintings printed out here. That'll come up. So if you see me go off camera for a moment, I'm just going closer so I can show people while you're talking about them, okay? So uh, the first one is Panchen Kaz. Uh, the first painting match is uh, Pisidian. Morning stars over the coast, this one. Uh, so Pisidian is actually the indigenous name, uh, which means shepherd's name in Amis language. Amis is an uh, Aboriginal tribe in Taidong. Uh, it refers to a stretch of Taiwan's eastern coastline connecting Kavala's home in Yilan County with Taidong County, where Po Jiang is based. Uh, Kavala's story or dream starts in the ocean under starry skies. You can see the, uh, the starry lights here. Yeah. Um, so um, fr from here, uh, moisture rises and, and eventually condense. Uh, no, mountain creating Kavalan, a uh, very pristine, sweet, creamy water source from Snow Mountain. So I would say uh, the ocean symbolizes the origin of dreams. So this week, whiskey aging punch and cast. Um, the cast we, we use have experienced a, a long, very long journey from Central and South America to uh, Europe and then across the ocean to Taiwan. At Kavan this year, we fill in a transparent new make. Uh, you have tasted it. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's something special for sure. <laughs> It is over 60% alcohol strength. You still feel it's smooth and also uh, the, mm. uh, the mango, pineapple, the DNA of Kava and Desiri, lychee and green apple flavors in the new make. So, and this is something that you have in all of your expressions. It doesn't matter what it is. You, you know that it is Kava you can taste that it is a Kava because of that new make, that tropical fruit taste that's in every single thing. It's there, whether it's slight or very noticeable, it is Cavalan, definitely. That's true. So uh, you can catch uh, very de delicate aromas uh, even when holding the glass away from you. That is because of uh, the very good oxidation for Cavalan whiskey during winter time. So uh, this is very pleasant, uh, uh, freshly like uh, uh, baked almond biscuits uh, and also some sweet peach and very soft vanilla and cream. Uh, how, how do you like it, Dari? <laughs> uh, I really like this one when it came out. To be honest, though, out of all four, I'm going to say this one, it wasn't my favorite of all four, but it's still excellent. And the one thing I liked about this, and I noticed that is the first time I got this from Cavalon Whiskies was, and being Canadian, maple syrup. And I get the maple syrup on this. I get notes of the maple syrup on this one, which is one thing I love about it. Now, yeah. when I, again, when I say it wasn't my favorite, it's still very fantastic whiskey, but there are other ones also in there that were just mind blowing. Now this one, this is also the very, very first time that you released the Punchin, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, it's my, our, our first time to launch Punchin Cat. And we, we can imagine it can, it can be so beautiful in color as well, in Punchin Cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. it's, <laughs> the colors <laughs> on all of these are very, very dark uh, and mm -hmm. full of flavors for sure. It's, yeah, I, in Taiwan, and we went through this, and people have asked a lot about, you know, as far as the maturation and the climate and how it changes it. And that is one thing. You have the interaction with the wood that really sucks in, it sucks in all those flavors, sucks in all those colors, and it shows in this one. Now, and one thing, too, for Kava, we're not focusing on the age here. We're 100% focusing and talking about the taste. Now, this one, as I said, again, the maple syrup, almost like a biscuit, uh, just a great, great, great smelling, great nose on this one. And cheers, Caitlin, to breakfast for you. <laughs> and to everybody Friday evening, we're gonna try this first one here. Yeah, uh, for me, the flavors of, of uh, white peach, I think very distinct in this, this one. Mm. Um, it's actually surging like 
ocean wave the the lineage is very very long um, and lasting and uh, also very really like the smooth texture of, of this one even it is a uh, castions i can see what you see about the wave feeling because even the taste here it seems like it comes comes and goes a little bit which is almost like the tide coming in which i don't know if that's just a coincidence or not but it doesn't disappear it goes in a little bit and then it fades off and it comes in with a new one like you said the peach flavor you get in the tropical fruit and just a nice sweet little bit oakiness to this a very very nice whiskey balance very good and as i said it's it, when you mentioned waves that's what i'm getting right now i'm getting this going in and out of flavors which is great very nice um how what was your response to this could being the first time that punchin was released in from cabalan for the world what mm. do people think of this one overall have you had many people talking Um, about this I, i know it's not an easy bottle for people to get unless you're in taiwan going directly to the distillery you can try it from the cask otherwise it's not the easiest set to get but i wonder what the response has been so far i i remember after the launch launch event uh, a lot of people come to me say uh, they think this one is quite sweet and and, and it is um but it is very pleasant and uh, with a uh, very high strength you can taste all the multiplayer flavors of the whiskey so uh, overall uh, this whiskey performs really really well and as you say it's very balanced uh, both on the sweetness and the fruitiness and also its aroma is a uh, very clean and you can notice all all this uh, uh, like uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you pick up a lot of the toffee and the white peach even very far away from it. Even this far away, I'm getting a lot of that. And I saw mm -hmm. someone asking about my bottles not open. You're <laughs> yes, but I do have from Cabot here the samples. I'm not drinking other whiskey, so this is the samples here. The Cabot and the team there was uh, lucky enough to let me try, so I didn't have to open the bottles, which I'm more than willing to do. I've actually, uh, Kim, I've actually had a set already opened and finished the four bottles with friends, so. And I'm happy that I was able to get this instead of opening up another set. But this is very, very nice. And um, yeah. as I mentioned, Punchin right now for Taiwan, it's not a regular bottle whiskey. It's not something that you guys are offering. It is in the the sets and these these series, the One Thousand Artist series, and as well, they have a cast that you can have in the tasting room at the distillery. That's I true. believe that's the yeah. only place it's available, right? Yeah. So. Uh... You really want to taste Pension, but you didn't have a chance to taste on the Kaban Artist series. You can go to our distillery tasting room. We have the uh, cast and whiskey straight from the cast offered for uh, the visitors to taste. Yeah. And there's a good chance they'll see me sitting in there having a drink because I'm there quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Great place. And out of the paintings, I think. Um, they really, when you guys were talking about the poetry and different things, the mood, you get that mood when you guys, when you went right in details about the whiskey itself, the background of the cast, and then the painting, and this one being a little darker, a little darker, but as you said, the starry night and the lights and different things and stuff, and the taste, as you mentioned, the waves, um, a, ma a perfect match. The painting along with this, I think, fantastic and great, great one. Yeah, and I was very happy to finally try to punch it. Because I had seen it hidden yeah. around the warehouse for a long time, but it never came out. <laughs> so it was great to have it finally come out. Uh, yeah. No. So, Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is the origin of the dream, and then this one, uh, air. Uh, if if it's the painting, uh, winds of sun. Uh, it is named after a uh, Felix Mendelssohn piano piece. Potions um, use circular brush brush strokes. Yeah, uh, it, imagine uh, air particles and the uh, beating of wings, uh, creating the sensation of air in motion. Uh, I just want to let everyone. Well, that's why all the painting on this is uh, yeah. like circular motions. Everything. If you if yeah. people look closer at it, you can you can really see that. And it, it would be like the beating of wings because you would have that circular coming off of the wings. So it's an interesting. Very good name, but on wings of song. Very nice name too. Yeah. Would you like to guess how he created this circle? <laughs> I don't have any idea. What? What? Let us know. I mean, yeah. I have no idea. So, <laughs> how did that come about? He used a lot of bottle cap too. Are you serious? Yes. 
Yes, he created all these circles by the auto caps. <laughs> wow. It's very That's beautiful. Incredible. Yeah. That is incredible. Sorry, I was just looking closer at it and uh, I can't believe that they were able to do that with bottle caps. I am not very artistic, so I really respect people who <laughs> have the, that are able to do that, the ability to do that. <laughs> so, no. yeah, in this one, a uh, couple and drink taste like beer. And this painting can be seen as an um, artistic rendition of whiskey's maturation process. A uh, version of barrels from the body of this uh, Kabbalah symphony. The sweet notes actually uh, of caramel and honey. That is because uh, uh, per our craft or per our class of, of charring, it brings the, uh, a very good caramel flavors from this whiskey. And also the honey. Now, for me, you can notice I have some different Kabbalah glasses. Um, I've noticed with Virgin Oak, and this one being an N09, which if people aren't uh, too sure about, that's 2009 one. Mm -hmm. It's a lot sweeter than the older Kabbalah and uh, Virgin Oaks, I believe. This is my personal feeling. Mm -hmm. But the Glen Cairn glass, I think, brings out everything. All the sweetness comes out of that one a lot more, I've noticed, with these type of glass. I see you do have the Capito one there as well, and which is great for nosing on different things, too. But this one, I'm a big fan of the Virgin Oaks. I do like the 2006s. And when I compared them, when I sat there um, at the launch, this one was my favorite of the night. And not because it's a Virgin Oak, because it was completely different than the 2006 Virgin Oaks. Yeah. That, it, that there was just so much more sweetness to it than the other one. Not as complex as an older one, but just a great, great taste to this one, a great nose on this. And I was sitting next to a friend there as well, and he was telling me, finally, gave me the elbow he's like why don't you drink it <laughs> I couldn't start I just kept nosing it I was really enjoying it so much but tell us a little bit about the cast selections or a little in the background of this one if you can so uh, we especially select uh, white oak from the mountains area of Missouri in United States so the oak with slower growth and a, a high annual ring density was used to build the cast then, then chart uh, as our a request to create a, a very unique caramel flavor. I, I Is that a, a medium char or high char, or what kind? What level of char we're using for this? It's a medium char, but the we uh, while reducing the astringent uh, taste. Uh, actually, it, it, it is specially made for a uh, long term, long time uh, maturation in Kabbalah this year. Mm -hmm. And it goes very well. Yeah. Uh, with what you guys were trying to do there and. Uh, we all all of the virgin oaks that I've ever been able to pretty much have access to they have sold out very quickly there's been nothing but positive remarks and you know people seem to really enjoy them really love them and again when I compare 2006 to 2009 different whiskey different whiskey and just great I really like the sweetness on this one and uh, out of compared to other ones too it has a more of a floral I'm getting more floral notes on this for a virgin oak yeah, oh, very great. Yes. And also the honey chew and, and the like the chestnut uh, on the palate. It, it's slowly emerged, but you, you can feel it's like the dense of aroma in your mouth. It almost makes me next time want to drink this in bottle caps to go with the painting. <laughs> Pour it in a bottle cap and have little sips from there. Really nice. There's, there's a a little bit of a spice, I would almost just say a cinnamon spice to it, but with that tropical fruits coming up, guava on the finish, and mm -hmm. it's a back of mouthfeel, which is really nice too. It's, it's numbing in a way that's bringing out all of these exotic fruits, all these tropical fruits, which is really, really nice for a virgin oak. Really nice. Great, great selection on this. Now, for your paintings, do you have a favorite painting of the four? Not a whiskey, I, just the paintings themselves. I like this the whiskey. Yeah, whiskey itself and also the painting itself. Mm. This one gives um, a very easy mood, a uh, very beautiful mood. I, when I look at the painting, I feel it is very pleasant and it, it just let me feel um, very peace, peaceful in mind and this is one thing you guys did at the launch very well too is you had the music going to create the mood 
or when the, the uh, poems and the poetry was introduced along with the whiskey, everyone was just drawn right in. And this was, I had so many people mention that to me throughout the night that it was just one of those experiences, not a whiskey launch, not a tasting. You guys really, really showed everyone about the background of it, what you're doing right now and taking us through everything. And when people had asked us, this is why we, we approached you to come on and do this, because people were very curious about the whiskey, but they wanted to know, being Catalan's first set, Catalan's first series, what brought it on. So they really want to know more about the art and about the background. And so I'm very happy that you're able to come on today and lead us through these ones so far. So we got the first two done here. Um, yeah. Oh, I really love that. That's just, yeah. I got one more sip of this one. Breakfast again, right? <laughs> My favorite one. <laughs> so let's move into the third, the third whiskey. It's our okay. French, French wine cask. Um, this art piece has the name of Meditation on Eternity. I don't know what I think about painting. Um, uh, this actually reminds me the experience when I look at the sun for a short while and then I close my eyes to the bright. Oh, that little blink, the little circles <laughs> that you have there, right? Yeah. <laughs> the bright light. <laughs> You'll be seeing when, when the eyes are closed. Yeah. yeah and this see. one, you were talking about color earlier. My God, yeah. uh, this is, you can't see through this bottle. It's impossible. Yeah. It, I, you may as well bottle Coca-Cola. It's so dark that <laughs> It, for a French wine cast, and we can say French wine. Now you guys aren't going to tell us exactly where, but you can say French wine. Can you say the region? Can you share that with everyone? Uh, the region uh, is from Bordeaux. <laughs> oh. the French Good. I wanted. I didn't want to say it first. So people have asked. Um, all the French wines that Cavan has been using are from the Bordeaux region. The region, sorry. And mm -hmm. that's about as much detail as they're going to give. You can use your codes and different things. Maybe you can figure it out, but we'll just stick to the French wine being what it is then, okay? <laughs> yeah. oh. So the golden sun in this piece represents uh, sparks of hope, uh, lightening uh, the path toward Kabbalan dream. So uh, the fiery notes uh, both the intensity of purpose and the heat of the sun, the sun life-giving warmth that uniquely enhances aging. So uh, as you say, uh, you can de decode the cast number. Maybe you will know where the cast is come from. So if you know your wine, I think you can figure it out. Yeah. With those codes and stuff. And I have someone here commenting saying that this is their favorite wine cask. And there were a couple people also uh, commenting that they're really trying to get these. These ones were just released in Canada and they're very limited. And people are saying, get more, get more. We can't. I mean, you had 1,000 bottles of each. That's all that was brought out of these. I mean, we're very honored to be able to get any in Canada. And as soon as they went live, they were sold out to stores instantly. It did not take long at all. So I hope people get a chance to do it. And again, this is a tasting, but it's also about the background of this series for Cavalan and to tell it also about Paul Chung and his history with art and how it came together too. Yeah. Now, do you want to tell us a little about Oh, about the cast. Think, this is a lot darker on it, like dark fruits and dark berries and different things compared to the other ones, definitely. It is dominated by a berry and black currant. And if you slowly move from the upper edge of the glass to the bottom edge, you may find a very deep uh, caramel and toffee apple. It's very beautiful. Oh, I like that. For people who've never tried that too, that's a good, good way to nose your whiskey. I mean, some people get right in there, nose right in. Others just like to, to have it, you know, holding the nose a few inches above the glass. But as Caitlin just said, if you start from the top and just slowly move your nose down to the bottom, you're getting different notes and you'll notice that a lot. And you are picking up some of those, the dark, dark berries and more sweetness when you're doing that too. And also, um, when you receive, there is more like a uh, Jerry Longan. Uh, it's, what I really like this kind of candy fruit in Taiwan. And also the hazelnut and, and with a little bit of rich aroma with um, very full body texture. I, I think this one is very sticky and, and very... Just... I want to show people one important thing about this one too, is 
you're looking here for Cavalan, look at that ABV. Oh, yeah. 64.2%. 60, uh, the majority of Cavalan, they go up to 59.4%. This just has to be with not being 60%. But these <laughs> ones, it worked out. You guys, you found it was perfect, even though it was over 60%. So you didn't change it. You didn't do anything with it. And you're like, this is the one we want. And you don't get that percent. I mean, I'm getting about a 50, 52, I would say, if I was guessing from the taste because of the flavors. For 64%, there's not like a burn at all. Mm -hmm. You get it going down slightly, but then it just comes back and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous whiskey. <clears throat> and when I first tried this at the launch and I saw it was 60 plus percent, uh, I was expecting something like eyes watering and burning, but <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. A great, great French wine whiskey. That's true. And again, only Bordeaux is what we'll say. That's where it's from, that area. <laughs> Yeah, we, we feel in the new make, um, the Birdland, we present a little bit uh, quite special. Usually, a couple of theory in the maturation warehouse, it tends to lose more alcohol than water because it is very humid in Taiwan. But this mm -hmm. one, it, it, it just going up, uh, going up over 60% alcohol strength. I, I would say this one is just, it is, very unique, very natural, and um, it retains a fully, fully flavor from this French wine single cast. It, it would be quite the experiment to watch this one and see how high that alcohol goes as the water evaporates in this cast, because as you mentioned, it's going yeah. up, up, up in Taiwan. It's not, that's odd. That's not the normal for sure for alcohol here as far as ABV. That's true. Mm. But maybe a great, great drink. Yeah, maybe of its position or maybe because of its just a special room for that, <laughs> for that whiskey. Well, okay, and that just brought up uh, something that people have asked me before, and I, I think someone was talking about that earlier here too, about the warehouse. So your warehouse, you have two right now, and you guys have just started your third warehouse, yeah. uh, which I noticed again when I was there. And you have five floors in each. Is the third, help, third warehouse is going to be the same, five floors, a height and everything identical? It will be uh, much bigger than one plus two. So it will oh, be... Wow. Uh, maturation warehouse you can come okay. yeah more more and we had someone we had someone also asking before about um as far as your production you guys are running about 90 percent full production right now is that does that sound about right nine million of nine million liters of pure alcohol a year and you could do maximum at about 10 million so you're at about 90 percent full okay full capacity because there were some people asking that um earlier and as well, uh, when I was doing a tour there last week, and I just wanted to double check that with you guys. So uh, Taiwan, the distillery there, not being very old. I mean, you go down back to 2005 and starting and stuff, you're only looking at 15, 16 years, and mm -hmm. you're already at that capacity and adding a third warehouse. So I guess overall around the world, people are really enjoying Cavalier whiskey. I know in Canada they are, in the US they seem to be, and it's just going and going, and they're loving these kind of things. Uh, the core range people, that's what draws them to Cavalier. And also you guys recently have released some whiskey core range that is a little easier on the price point, I guess I could say, to get people to try Cavalier whiskey, maybe before they want to put out a little too much money, they might think. So it's excellent to do that. They have your 40%, 46% cast strength and also price range. And the quality for everything has been great. It doesn't matter if it's a 40% or a 64%. Yeah, you taste cattle and you taste quality and it's very good. And I think from a consumer's point of view, I know people are very thankful that Cavalier has done that because a lot of distilleries, they just want to keep pumping things out to make money. And you guys are trying to do it to get consumers to really try Taiwanese whiskey. So <laughs> bravo for that one. <laughs> very yeah. well, very well done. I uh, really want to recommend Cavalier Distillery Select Series. We create that one because uh, we really want Cavalier whiskey can be accessible for uh, for any drinkers. So uh, that one is entry level, the flavor oriented. Uh, it, it is very, it is quality at a good price. I, I would say that is a bad yes. daily drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a, daily, a daily drink if you're sitting at the office when you're not supposed to be drinking, uh, having a sip. No, it is a very, very clean, very refreshing whiskey, uh, mm -hmm. which people have said which for me is not really a whiskey word, but people seem to say that with the distillery select, that they can enjoy it any time of the day. It's not just a sit at home, need the nighttime 
they could be in the afternoon out at the beach or sitting on their balcony and barbecue and they really enjoy that whiskey. So this is, it is one thing that people have loved. Now, you're not going to get a uh, complexity like the cash strength, but you definitely get cavern flavors and taste profiles in those as well. So as Caitlin mentioned, the story stack you have number one and number two was recently released not too long ago as well. Really? Yeah. We have, yeah. so we have the punch in here, virgin oak, French wine, and the last one, which is uh, something very special because you did something special to this whiskey as well for, which is only the second time I believe you guys have done this. If you could give us a little background on that. Yeah, so uh, this one is the Petit Mo, the, the it was mature in a, in a Aster cask. The painting you can see is Jinzhen Summer. Uh, Jinzhen is the local uh, uh, <laughs> local region name in Taidong. So the final piece in the set of uh, Hong Sorry, Kong. Sorry, for people who don't know, where is Taidong located in Taiwan? What area uh, of Taiwan? Uh, located uh, the, um, south eastern of Taiwan. Southeastern. So the of island of Taiwan, you're down the southeastern of it. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, below Yunnan where the district is in the eastern coast of Taiwan. Okay. So the final piece in the set is of uh, uh, homecoming and rebirth. So the green, yellow, and blue color uh, actually represents uh, Taiwan's east coast, uh, the lushness and also the very vibrant flavors and scents of the whiskey. So this one, uh, you can you can notice the fruits, um, and also uh, the most smoke with a deep my peat and and carbon summer fruits are infused with the um, peat uh, smokiness. It's very complex. I love the nose on this one. Now the cask for this one. Uh, is also, Cavalon is very well known in, I'm not going to say the thing that made it popular, but it was definitely helped out when you were awarded uh, World Whiskey of the Year for the Vino Brique back in 2015. And Vino Brique prior to 2020, late 2020, was the only cast that was using the STR process. Yeah. Now this one also used that process, if I'm not mistaken, is that correct? Your, your yeah. peated malt here. Yeah, so uh, STR stands for uh, shaving, toasting, and recharging. Uh, this, ca this cask are gently shaved to get rid of um, undesirable um, flavors. And then they, they are toasted and recharged in a way that brings out all the fruity vanilla. And also you can taste a little bit something like um, um, like tang, like, uh, like- A creamy, yeah, a creamy <laughs> yeah. one, yeah. Uh, sweet, a sweet cream is kind of uh, buttery. You would be going for more of a buttery toffee, I think, is what Caitlin's saying there. Mm -hmm. and, and also, a caramel and chocolate, yeah, you can find out in this whiskey. This is another one that a bottle would last me a long time because the nose on it is so interesting and you can go at it for a little while and you're going to keep getting new notes, little things subtle and then some very, very strong that you weren't picking up the first time. Now, we've also been asked about the, here's, here's a question that I don't know if you will answer, but I'll ask anyhow because people are always asking about this, the PPMs yeah. for these. Um, I know we've been told they're about, you're looking at a medium level PPM. I don't know if it's exact because it's cast strength per Per cast, so that's usually my answer. But is that about correct? That it, it varies from cast to cast, obviously because of uh, being different cast strength and different things. But about a, a medium for PPM level. So it is a light pitted, uh, pitted mold. Yeah. Okay. So quite different from uh, Isla whiskey. I think Kavala whiskey's uh, pitted mold whiskey is more mild, and and it is. Um, not that pungent, not that strong with the uh, medicine notes or the smoking notes. You, you can still feel the fruity is very balanced with the, uh, the, the smokiness in, in the whiskey. But it is and it's a lot more than your peaty whiskey though. The, yeah. the peaty and the peat is definitely a lot more, a lot yeah. of higher PPMs, heavier PPM than the peaty one. Yeah, so we, we had, we had long uh, ex-ILAC, but 
the uh, the non PT new make. Now we have the uh, PT new make mature in the STR for this one. So that is the difference be between these two products from Kavlan. And this one, so it's the second time that STR has been used. It's been used on all the wine casts, the Vino Brique only prior to this being used on some of the peated. Now, yeah. why was it chosen for the peated cask? I mean, I know you've tried another cask, it didn't seem to work, but what, for your understanding, what is it that really worked well with the peated cask to use the SDR process? So uh, we, we really want to uh, make the flavors live again. So, so apply STR on the cask we use for mature PT mobs. Yeah, so we want a more Brutinous can be uh, revealed in this whiskey too. Oh, it, to it worked. It worked because when I compare this to some of the other pita casts, which are fantastic, you're getting, you're bringing something different is what you're mm -hmm. doing. That SDR really is bringing different notes and different tastes and a complete different taste profile to a whiskey. Yeah, that's true. So make it. Oh, then I might have to change my favorite here now. <laughs> this one's really getting me today. Yeah, I like this one a lot. That is a very, very nice one. Now, for Paul Chen um, being the artist that you guys chose to do this, sorry, I'm gonna enjoy one more sip here. <laughs> cheers. Um, <laughs> cheers. Has he, has he, you've never done work with him before in the past? Uh, as far as, have you done any work with Paul Chen before in the past for Cavalan? Or this is your very first time? Because I know Cavalan is very active in the art industry um, and helps young artists and different things. Uh, when you go to the distillery, you have the whole art gallery there, the auditorium, but has Paul Chung ever been involved with any of Cavalan's art things in the past or is this the very first time? As I know, uh, this is very first time. And that is our founder's son, Andrew and Tiffany, son and sister. Uh, Andrew and Tiffany, they, they approached Paul Chan for, for this special uh, project. They actually spent a lot of time um, as visiting Paul Chan, uh, in person and trying to him to join the collaboration projects with, with Kavala and Whiskey. So I would say that is a, um, they, they did a lot of hard work to achieve these projects. Yeah. Now, if you don't know Andrew and Tiffany, who uh, Caitlin is talking about, the Lee family, which is uh, the King Carr family, which is, I guess, the parent company of Kavala, they are very into their classical music. Um, they really have appreciation for the arts as well. This is why some of the bottles, I'm sure, are named Podium and Conductor and different things like that. And Concert Master, I mean, it's not a coincidence. So I believe they do know this industry very well. Not only the whiskey industry, but as far as the art as well. So I think they were able to choose a fantastic artist that just gelled and went together perfectly with your expressions, your tastes, and then to have the art really showcase that and bring out those flavors too. Yeah, just, so uh, we have sorry, a... Bye. We have an art gallery in the distillery and uh, uh, several art centers in, in Taiwan. So uh, next time, if you, you visit Taiwan, you can not only visit Kavala distillery, but also uh, go spend a visit to the art center. Um, they, they, are, they, they are taken care of by our, our foundation uh, of King Car. So that is also a lot of our young artists there their paintings are exhibited at the art centers. <laughs> I did have some people say, oh, Cavalans, you know, they're trying to follow some of the other distilleries they are doing art series or something. And that's completely false. Like Caitlin just said, this is a distillery. When it was built, it had its own art gallery. They're not following anybody. This is a passion that Cavalan has. And when they said, we're going to make art, meet whiskey, that exa is exactly what you guys did. There was no it wasn't like you're trying to do something because other people are. This is something that Cavalan, I'm surprised, to be honest. I'm surprised it wasn't done sooner. Because every time you go to Cavalan, they have different art displays with empty bottles, different things you can do. You even have the children's art area as well, where you guys are in support of the young artists in Taiwan. So it took, what, 15, 16 years to finally have an artist series. So it was worth the wait, though. Fantastic, fantastic drinks. Now, Caitlin... You've taken us through these four. I have the actual set here that I want to show everybody if you could tell them a little bit about the, the limited series set as well. Is that okay? Yeah, Do you sure. have time for that? Okay, so we have the 
punching one here, the virgin oak. Mm. French wine, Bordeaux cask is as far as we're going to go. And people are wondering, first cider is HB. Maybe that's <laughs> a hint. I don't know. And then here we have the peated malt, which was the second time Cavon has used the STR series. Shaving, yeah. toast, and recharm. And I'm just going to bring this here because we've had people saying about this series. So this is the set that Cadline did. Can you tell them a little about this while I open this up and try to show people? Um, so the first time Cadline has launched an R Sing Whiskey series. Um, this is a, a, one, a total of 198 yeah. Uh, which so two, two sets of 99, that's correct, with two different paintings. Is that how yeah. it's? Yes. So, so this one I have here. Uh, uh, Taiwan Mountain Range. I'm going to pull this off so people can see. So this is an actual canvas oil painting here, oil on canvas that they have that is comes along with this. And I'm going to do one thing here, just a moment. So beautiful. Because... I noticed when you're bringing out the blue lights here, oh. it just came out gorgeous, the painting and stuff here. And I was trying this with some of the other ones and you just get taken in. It's a, it's a whole different experience where I can see as far as the art, a great choice with what you guys were doing. And really this artist is incredible. Uh, so this tells us about the painting itself and different things and the box set, 20 kgs. <laughs> 20 kilograms people that's how much this set is here it's in in just beautiful now the whiskey inside is the same except a slight difference what is the slight difference as far as size then yeah it's 700 uh, uh, milliliters for the four expression so we have the same you have the same type of whiskey the same four expressions but these are done in 700 ml bottles and when I saw this one at the launch there, I couldn't believe what you guys were able to do. And then I thought, oh, maybe, you know, sometimes companies or businesses, they have this great presentation and the taste just lets you down. But you had this fantastic presentation and the taste just brought it up. And what overall what Cavalier has done with this is just you knocked it on the park. It's mind blowing. The taste that you've done, the art, how you put it together, and everything you've done is just fantastic. And um, Kayla, is there anything else you want to tell us about this series that people might not know or a background on anything? Um, I, I just think uh, uh, people are really connected to the things, the emotions uh, of this limited edition set. Um, we believe uh, art, like whiskey, has the power to stir deep emotions. Take uh, take punch the first whiskey, um, which de depicts the sea, sky, and stars. Uh, Paul actually painted this work uh, after returning to Taiwan after 30 years and uh, settling oh, wow. in, in Taitung. Uh, you can feel the uh, euphoria of the time and the beauty of recovery of Taiwan, the raw emotion, uh, I think. The fans of the first artist series feel this too. Yeah, along with us. <laughs> series two, we're looking forward to that. And Kayla, before you go here, I want to say again, congratulations for being awarded Icons Whiskey's global, World Global Brand Ambassador, or World Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. And again, to Cadillac, congratulations for Visitor Attraction of the Year. And I really want to say a personal thank you from myself and Truth Malters for taking the time on a Saturday morning to explain this and give the background of the history of the cast of the artist for people in Canada and America and around the world that are watching. And hopefully they get a chance to try this. And as, as Caitlin mentioned, if you don't, I know it's very limited, a thousand bottles of the 1000 mLs and only 98 sets, two sets of 98 for this. But she said, come down to the distillery because you can try it right out of the cast which I'm not going to say tastes better, but the experience is just wow. You get to sit there, have the whiskey, you're ready to the cask, enjoy it. So, Kayla, a big cheers to you. Thank oh, you very much. Cheers. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Gambe. Well, he's a well, well, woman nails so dumb now. Well, he's a little guy's going to jump on and nail it by thinking about Everybody, thank you very much. And thanks to Caitlin. Um, again, enjoy your weekend. And you guys, if you have any questions about this, I know usually after the watching the videos, they send me some questions. 
Uh, a little far away from the screen, I wasn't able to answer everything, but email them off to me and I can forward them off to Caitlin if I can answer them myself. And I'm sure we'll let you know everything you need to know about Catalan and the Paul Chang Artist Series. So have a great weekend. God day. Cheers, Caitlin. Bye-bye. Oh, fantastic. All right. <laughs>